Got a couple blasters of Series 1, as well as a couple sweet hits from last week to recap. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so everyone's having a great day. Uh, like I said, went to Walmart, did my grocery shopping, found a new fresh restock. Uh, got a couple blasters. This they had some update, no Stadium Club, um, but I wanted to get some Series One anyway. Uh, and then I wanted to recap real quick first a couple hits I got from last week. Uh, I did I ripped a couple blasters off camera just because I had some other videos going up anyway. I didn't feel like uh, needed to squeeze one in there. And of course, when you rip off camera, you know you're going to hit really sweet cards. So uh, two blasters, and I got pr probably the two better hits from the case i would imagine two at least two of the better ones uh the first blaster had this uh it's not the greatest player of course but it's a mother's day pink of miguel amaya for the cubs really a uh, tough hit there number 35 out of 50 probably like one per case uh mother's day or father's day i would imagine and then in the second blaster it was i thought that was going to be the best hit of the rip but in the second blaster um Near the end, saw a card that was super bowed, and I thought it was going to be just a chrome Stars MLB. And uh, upon further inspection, ended up being a heavy lumber of Mike Trout. This is the first I've seen. I've only pulled one heavy lumber before, and it was uh, Giancarlo Stanton from Series 1 last year. I think that was the first time they ever did them. Um, so seeing this this portrait heavy lumber is really sick, and to get Mike Trout is incredible. Um, the card actually looks really good, so I was going to send it off anyway for my rare insert collection, but uh, this one actually has a chance at a 10, which is somehow what my Stanton got as well, even though it's not a 10. Um, but that is actually a really tough hit out of these blasters. It's 1 in 395 blasters. Um, we'll round it up to 400 so we can say it's 1 in 10 blaster cases, which is crazy. So um, I was super stoked to hit that. Again, going to be sending that off. And uh, the Mother's Day was also a pretty sweet hit. But two more blasters today. We'll try our luck again. This is from a different store. So hopefully a, a fresh case. Looked like they had a, a few out. So had my choice. I just kind of usually pick the front two whenever I can see. I don't try to get too crazy with it. Whenever I pick boxes out, like at shows or a, a shop or something, I always, it's never good. I usually just go with uh, whatever they pick out. Seems to do okay. I'm going to go ahead and open both of these. Why not? Get all the ripping out of the way. Hoping for, man, some low numbered stuff, some rare inserts like that. I haven't hit an HFA yet this year, and they look amazing. I would love to hit one of those. I haven't hit any parallels of the big rookies, uh, and I know they got the Easter parallels in here, so maybe we can hit one of those, but uh, anyway, we'll get started here. They do them kind of weird. I forget which way. They have the East, yeah, so the Easter parallel is just kind of right on top foot, starting off with the Devin Williams. This is just like the base one. That's all I got last week, so if we can hit like a rarer one, that would be pretty cool. Um, we'll start off with that. going to just go through these. I'll probably go through them after, make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll just go through them quickly on here, pick out the big rookies. Um, Bobby Witt Jr. on the greatest hits. And then a star's name will be of Corey Seager. I think it's just a regular card on the back. Let's see what we can find. Henry Davis, he's been crushing in spring training. We've got a home run challenge of Juan Soto. That one shouldn't be too difficult. Just pick a home game. Got a Riley Green, Stars will be second year, of course. And then Dylan Cease on the back is the newest Padre. That's pretty crazy. I can't believe he landed there after they lost Snow. I mean, that's might say it's an upgrade. Could be. Um, let's see what we got here. Bryce Elder on our Easter parallel. It's going to just be that base one again. They look really nice. Uh, I, I don't think they're necessarily necessary, uh, for lack of a better word. But they do look okay, in my opinion. Um, we got... Nolan Arenado on the 89, and then Tatis, Stars MLB. Just a bunch of inserts so far. No big rookies that I've seen. There's Aaron Judge. Got, looks like a Chrome Stars MLB. And nice, it's a rookie, South Frelick. Cool. Always want to hit a rookie on the Chromes. They're actually not terrible looking. Do enjoy that one a lot. Might have to put that on the stand. And then Henry Davis on the Stars MLB. We'll sleeve it up. That's our, probably our best card so far. Always nice to hit the Chrome rookies. Like I said, I love an Ellie Chrome and Evan Carter. I assume Evan Carter's in the Stars and MLB set. I don't think I've seen him yet. 
three packs to go, still looking for a numbered uh, a foil of some kind, and this is just probably our last Easter parallel. It's Vlad Jr. Oh, that's the egg parallel. Cool. So that one's a little tougher. I think it's the easiest. Let me see. Uh, so here are the odds on that. Yeah, so the base is 1 and 2, the eggs are 1 and 21, so 1 every 2 or 3 blasters there. Nothing crazy, but it is a Vlad Jr., so that's kind of cool. Take that. Now we'll go through the rest of these. Uh, we got a blueprint insert of Corbin Carroll. It's pretty cool. And then Jordan on the Stars MLB. So we got a Chrome, Stars MLB, and an Egg Parallel. Let's see if we can get a Numbered Parallel. That's kind of what we're shooting for now. Dominic Canzone, Rookie. Yeah, nothing crazy coming out of this one. There's a Vlad Jr. again. And our last pack here. Uh, is this another Easter? Did we get four? Oh, we got four. Okay, so there's a base one right there of the, what is that, ERA leaders? Yeah. We'll take that. And any big rookies is Mauricio. Consider that a big one for me as a Mets fan. Uh, so we got a couple cards here. I think they're just inserts, though. Um, there's the Celebration of the Kid, one of the Mariners Griffies, and then uh, nice Pete Alonzo on the 89. At least it's a Met. And Paul Goldschmidt is our last insert. So nothing crazy out of that blaster. I do like the Freelit Chrome. Um, but let's see if we can hit a numbered card in this one at least. Uh, we, we killed it last week. I wasn't expecting the same kind of results, but uh, something would be cool. Out of two blasters, figured you'd get something. Like I said, I'll go back through all these, make sure I didn't miss anything. Aaron Judge insert. Um, really just the Otanis and Sotos, and then I guess the... Kevin Hart cards that are allegedly in here, but um, I think people are saying they're with the hits, so I would imagine they'd be with the hits. There's a Lugo Easter base. Still no big rookies, not the easiest hits out of here. We got another blueprint here of Garrett Cole and Acuna, Stars and MLB. Not a lot of releases coming up. I think there's a few like archive signature series is coming out, maybe like Bowman Inception or Bowman Heritage or something, stuff that I don't really buy. Still waiting on another big release. Um, hopefully one's coming out soon. I think Heritage is coming out. Uh, looks like we got something flipped around here. So we'll go to the back, take that Diaz. Flip it. We got an Ellie, Stars MLB. That's nice. Let's top load that. And then is this a foil? Yeah, it looks like a rainbow foil for the Cardinals of Wilson Contreras. So that's our first foil of the rip. Probably our only one. Stick the Ellie up. So I don't really know what the next release I'm looking forward to is obviously series one or uh, series two eventually. I know we got some time before that comes out, but uh, as far as the early releases, they got rid of like Gypsy Queen and some of the stuff I knew came out around this time. So I'm not even sure what I'm waiting on at this point. Probably just going to be some random rips between now and then, uh, unless something changes. Elias Diaz, Easter Parallel, another Henry Davis rookie. Uh, 89 of Vlad, and nice Ronnie Mauricio rookie on the Stars MLB. Take that. All right, let's get a number three. Come on. Three packs left. I think we can do it. Uh, nice. I think we might have done it. And a blue. Okay, so this is actually a good pack. Uh, we got a Soto on the MLB, Stars MLB. And then we'll see what the blue is. It's for the Giants, Logan Webb. Nothing crazy, but we do have an orange foil board for the... Oh, it's a League Leaders card. Oh, man. Um, looks like it's an RBI for the AL card, and that's going to be numbered to 299. So at least J-Rod's on there. That's pretty cool, um, but definitely not the, the card you're wanting to hit on the numbered cards out of the blasters. Still not terrible. Like I said, hitting that trout was unbelievable. That's, that's never going to happen again, I'm sure. Um, there's a nice rookie on the Easter Parallel, David Hamilton. Super excited to send that trout off. Like I said, it looks really good. It's it's pretty centered, and the corners on the back all look super good. So uh, hoping for a 10 on that. Could be a 9 either way. Going to hang on to it for the collection. Um, Snell and Harper are inserts there. And our last pack coming up. Let's at least get like a base card or something. That'd be cool. Didn't really hit any of the big rookies out of here. So Juan Soto is in the Padres uniform, so that's not a crazy one. Um... Brandon Marsh, don't see Kevin Hart anywhere. Not a crazy one. Uh, and then we're ending off with a home run challenge of Ellie. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. That's going to be a sweet rookie card if you can get it. I like to double down on all those. Um, finish off with the Jordan Lawler rookie. Stars MLB. I like to double down on the uh, home run challenges just because they're going to be so much more shorter printed. If you get a 
not double down one. There's going to be a ton of them. I don't think it's as special. I hit a Lubob last year to 50, and that was the only one I hit, but it was to 50. So uh, I think it was worth it to double down. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this rip. Uh, let me know what you thought of the two hits from last week. I thought it was super sweet, and uh, hopefully I'll be back with some hobby rips very soon. Bye.